Tango. Ridiculed during conception for being too wild and passionate, it has taken its very same fire and kept it going, making it one of the world's most popular dances. But why is it so captivating? The art of tango isn't just a dance, but also consists of musicians pouring their heart and flame into the dance for itself. In the beginning, the people of Argentinian culture rely on music and dance to get them through their issues. Now, musicians have carried the Hispanic culture and tango genre further than ever imagined, resonating that same passion with so many. Artists such as Astor Piazzolla and Carlos Gabriel are just a few names out of the many musicians that scoped it, the genre itself. What will you have though to keep clean? At first glance, Rita Moreno's career appears to consist of triumph after triumph. After moving from Puerto Rico to New York City when she was five, she was on Broadway at the age of 13 and on her way to Hollywood by the time she was 17. As her career took off, she would be called the house ethnic. And that meant I had to play anything that wasn't American. I was a gypsy girl. I was the Polynesian girl. I was the Egyptian girl. Here at 87, Rita talks about West Side Story on Jimmy Kimmel Live. I was determined with faith and perseverance that someone would say, this girl has talent, and they would cast me in something meaningful. Though, Moreno was at least initially happy to be working. This wasn't the career she hoped for. She won a Golden Globe Award and was surprised and delighted to receive an Academy Award. Moreno was the first Latina performer to win, making her an icon and a role model for her community. I have always said that liberty was the most fundamental element of art. I left Mexico precisely because I wasn't content with the limitations that were placed on Mexican painting. Rufino Tamayo was a highly prolific painter, printmaker, and sculptor who broke the world record total out of all Latin American art auctions at $7.2 million. His 1950 exhibition, The Venus Bainale, was where his artistic career began to take off at an international degree. Tamayo donated his pre-Columbian art collection to Oaxaca in 1974, which resulted in the founding of the Rufino Tamayo Museum of Pre-Hispanic Art. He then donated his collection of international art to the Mexican People's Catalog in 1981 alongside with his wife, Olga Flores. Tamayo sadly died of pneumonia in 1991, however his legacy continues to thrive within his timeless creations. <laughs>